When you put all the lowest rated cards in one squad, you get the worst possible team in FIFA, right? I don't know yet. Though I will split up this task in three episodes because this is the road to FIFA Ultimate Team Worst Cup 2017. What's up core gamers, it's TJ Core again. If you want to search for the lowest rated cards, there are two leagues that have a high amount of them. First, the English League 2. With the English League 1, we have the only third division in FIFA Ultimate Team and the League 2 is even one division lower. Naturally, they have the weakest teams there. On the other hand, we have the Electricity League in Ireland. It's the first league, but unfortunately X exists in the shadow of the English Premier League and their lower divisions. So for an Irish player, it's more attractive to play in the third English division than in the first Irish league. Let's begin with an old friend, Barry Richardson. We know him already because he's also the oldest goalkeeper in FIFA Ultimate Team. However, his 47 years doesn't stop him from being available when his club needs him. Also, he has my absolute respect from having a career since 1987 when he joined the first squad of AFC Sunderland. Our left back is Louis Bamford from Newport, also English League 2, 46 rated. Even strikers have a higher defending rating than him. Maybe that's the reason why he's a free agent now in 2017. Anyone who wants to sign him? Liam Angel is the luckier player from Newport's youth because he is still employed according to my information. 46 defending for a center back? Ouch. But wait! It can get even lower! James King from Bradford in the English League 1 has a defending rating of 45. Lucky for him his pace is a decent 69. So he's not the king of the worst center backs. Shay Dunlop from Derry City in the first Irish division is the lowest rated right back in FIFA Ultimate Team. It's hard to get correct information about these players. On my player database, it said his career ended in 2015, but on the Derry homepage, he's listed under reserves. Hmm, I'm calling you out, Shay Dunlop. Are you still active? In the central midfield, we first have Daniel Devine, also from Bradford. 70 pace for a central midfielder, but unfortunately the rest of his stats cannot keep up with that. However, I predict he will get an upgrade in FIFA 18 because with his only 19 years he made 16 appearances for Bradford in the first half of this season. Next is Jordan Richards from Notts County. No jokes or something like that here. He is the son of Notts County legend Peter aka Pedro Richards who made 399 appearances for Notts County and unfortunately deceased way too early in 2001. His son Jordan follows in the steps of his father. The striker positions are already occupied so I put him here. Max Wright from Grimsby Town. Being 18 years old, playing for a League 2 club and already having two injuries at his age doesn't all really help him to boost his rating. He is now loaned at Sutton Coalfield FC in the Northern Premier League which is the 7th division in England? I don't know, at least he scored a beautiful goal for his new club in January 2017. Michael O'Connor is the first striker and congratulations, you are the highest rated card in this team. On top, he already played Champions League for the Shamrock Rovers. Um, okay, it was only a qualification game and <laughs> okay, it was only two minutes, but hey, which one of us played Champions League, huh? Central attacking midfielder is Alex Atkinson and when I say attacking I mean he can move and kick the ball away from himself. He left Ludentown in December and plays now for Handball in the Southern League 1. With only 19 years old, there is still time to get another chance for a professional contract. And the last player is... Neil McLaughlin, lowest rated striker from Patrick Thistle in the Scottish Premiership. He made his debut for the first team in May 2015, where he was only 16 years old. Even though this was also his last appearance for the first squad, McLaughlin is a good form and their development team, where he recently scored 4 goals in one match. 
so maybe we will see more of him in the future. So that's our Lovos Radiate Squad. Phew, at least it has a decent amount of chemistry. Let's head right into the game and pray that our opponent will surprise us in a positive way. Okay, this squad uh, is also very, very bad, so... Bad with this verse. Only Sweden, hmm. Richardson! Yes! And I've lost the connection. After two years of searching, I found someone. Thank you, Salter Jr. Thank you. Oh, this is nearly as shitty as mine. Oh, what a pass. What? Why isn't he moving? Oh, is he AFK or what? No, he's... No, he's moving. Okay. What is he doing? I, I don't get it. Hey! I scored a goal against an AFK guy. Woo! Hey! It's so So winning is not always fun and um, I need to search another opponent because I want to see if this team is really that worse and I cannot see it with opponents like that. So let's find another game. Another opponent. Uh, okay. Is he doing the uh, squad challenge today? Then he's uh, losing on purpose, I think. Yep, he's losing on purpose. Oh god. opponent free win uh oh I shouldn't click on that but there are no opponents left goalkeeper 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 why why is this happening why is everyone a total idiot Beast, dream team, okay. I'm gonna be destroyed with this, but um, at least I hope my... What? Oh, come on. Are you f***ing kidding So after 30 minutes of searching and playing against dumb asses, I play now an online season. At least it's certain that I found an opponent, and at least it's certain that the opponent has a pretty nice goal team and I will lose horribly. Yeah, of course, of course. So let's try it with pass and shoot again. Pass and shoot. Yeah, this is my chance. Surprise, motherfucker. Yes, I scored. <laughs> I scored. Oh my God. Who is it? Who is it? McLaughlin! Woohoo! Neil McLaughlin. The super striker. McLaughlin! No, McLaughlin! What are you doing? No! 
Oh, what are you freaking doing? Oh god. Oh, this was so stupid for me. This was so stupid. How can I be this stupid? Oh no. What a shitty pass. Should have known better. Richardson did it. Jesus, and you did it not. Oh, God, come on, you had three chances and two goals. This unfair. This is a oh God. Eh? This game. Apollo. Yes. 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 Richards. Good boy. Good boy. No. I'm so stupid. What am I doing? Come on, make love in. What? What are you doing, you idiot? Yes, 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 yes. Was it? McLaughlin again. Come on, this cannot be over. This cannot be over. I'm really disappointed now that I lost. Uh, I cannot explain it. The team is bad. It, it feels bad. It's slow. You can't pass with them. But um, you have a chance. You still have a chance. Like, if the opponent is not the s most skillful FIFA player, you have a chance. You can win with this team. And like in this game, when you lost uh, just with one goal, uh, it hurts. So, was this really the worst team in FIFA or can we expect even worse? Don't miss episode 2 where we'll make one step further. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I see you guys in the next video.